My name is Carsten Birken. I'm brand manager for Edelried, where we try to have a certain philosophy of making ropes. We make ropes which you can't compress. They're pretty stable in the diameter or in the, in the construction. But as we have certain products, the rope compared to its compactness is very flexible. Basically, we have Proline and Sportsline. Sportsline is all sport climbing product. Proline is professional use in Alpine. Going down the line, we start with the lightest, lightest and thinnest, which is out there where we even needed to develop a belay device because there was no belay device out there, so we uh, developed the microjoule with this product. Um, it's a 6.9 mil twin. Uh, the specialty of this product is that it's also made in a more stiffer construction. There's two braided inners. Actually, you buy with one rope, three ropes, because there's two braided inners and an overbraided, um, overbraiding the core. And Due to the stiffness of the rope, it's really incredible because very thin ropes tend to make knots and fall in a strange way if you pull them. And this rope just falls very nice, so it does not get catched so easy. And first time when you get it, you think, oh shit, that's, that's too stiff. But while using it, getting it smoother and you will enjoy and like the stiffness. This rope is obviously made for absolute the specialist, absolute the niche product for ice climbing, but also for steep, multi-pitch rock climbing where every, every gram counts and we want to be as light as possible. Stepping up a millimeter, 7.9 mil Apus. Apus had been around for ages, double rated, half a twin, made also on a 48 carrier, very nice handling, very durable, this is the all day half rope you can use, winter, summer, alpine, even on glaciers. Then going to Heron. This is a multifunctional rope. Um, there is people who like it for sport climbing. It's quite durable for the diameter. It has a very nice and smooth handling, but it also performed obviously in, in winter condition due to the thermo shield and pro and dry shield which is on the rope. It's one of the best choices in the line because it combines sports with alpine with maybe multi-pitch winter. So whatever you want, this, this is a good, good choice. 9.7 anniversary, absolutely um, one of the highlights. It was made for the 150 years of anniversary of, of Edelweid company. So this combines safety with the Duotech technology, rated eight fold, which is really a great, great factor and is sold with a caddy rope bag. It's available in 60 and 70 meters. Can be used for sport climbing, alpine. So this is, this is a good choice for durable rope, which you can use in multi-purchase. Going to the Eagle Light, Eagle Light 9.5, 48 carrier, very smooth handling. It's a very durable product, so this is a great choice for sandstone, for example, where abrasion with this very fine quartz adapt to this rope in a very nice matter. But don't have a problem seeing people making workout or red point attempts in a diameter where weight counts, but durability is available. The Swift 8.9, the most durable rope in this area. It's really a compact rope, but it's performing a very nice touch. And the durability of this thing compared to the diameter is really great. Please keep in mind, this rope is not made for rod, red point, workout, stuff like this, but for a climber who goes out and make meters, it's really a great choice. Corby 8.6, um, the rope in the rope, the inner is braided, so we overbraid an inner, um, reduced um, sheet proportion in order to achieve the goal of being the lightest one out there with the thinnest diameter. Obviously, this is a specialized tool which should be used um, for red pointing or workout. It's really for the one who, where every gram counts. Swift as Corby as well are both triple rated single, half and twin. So that makes it interesting as well for using in, in different purposes in Alpine situation with a party of three, for example, or something like this. Going down the line, we have um, one special construction in the line which is made out of 32 carrier. All other ropes you will find two over two in the sheet construction. These two ropes is one over one, so it's, it's really smooth handling. We have that in tan and the, and the osprey for 
um, 10.3 millimeter. Both ropes, besides cracking out in, in dry areas and sport climbing, are used in walls, not on a big wall, but on the climbing wall rope. So indoor is used a lot. Coming to the best sellers is the BOA, one of the most durable 9.8 ropes out there in the market. Um, very nice compact flex. We have this in a nice new color for next year, as well as the Duotech, which is around in, in the country since two or three years. And it's very successful, very durable, and very nice. Going up the line, we have the Python. Um, 10 mil, 40 carrier, very nice touch. Also sport climbing orientated, more sheet, more material, more durable, it's clear. But in Europe, this diameter is dying, while still in the US, it's climbed. The Durability in between 9.8 and 10 is not like it had been maybe 10 years ago. So you have really good choice with BOA compensating the higher diameter with um, Python. So my choice would be BOA. Python touch tag, the nice surface change on the end of the, of the rope where uh, you just get advised, hey, here comes the end. Please take care that there's no lowering off problems. It's a nice feature. It comes also in 60 meter. It's a good sport climbing option when you want to add security to the, to the system. And then on top is Cobra, 10.3 mil, the workhorse. It's also used for walls, for beginner training. We are the only manufacturer which on the sport line, on the entrance price level, have a treatment. This is a thermo sheet treatment. This is a heat setting we do after producing the rope. This way we ensure that the fiber relax that makes the rope flexible, but still having a good touch with a very, very solid, compact feel. Then we have Pro. Obviously here we add features in the, um, it's not only dry treatment, what we add here. It's also the, the Pro Shield, which is a technolization. It adds abrasion resistance. It adds that the water can't get in and it adds the durability of the rope. Um, on top of this, the, the whole um, collection is blue sign certified. Normally you need 700 liters of water to dye one kilo of uh, fiber. We will be able in the last five years to reduce the 700 liter of water by dyeing to 40 liter. On top of this, you need to understand that in the same time we increase the quality so that's a really important statement for us. And um, it's good for us to see that you can have something in mind, go down a road, and then achieve a better, better output and better product. And on top of this, have an environmental concept.